for the past 24 hours, we've been actively bargaining with Ford, General Motors, and Stellantis. For the first time in our union's history, we had all three companies bargaining right here at the Solidarity House, leading into the final hours of our strike deadline. We've been working hard trying to reach a deal for economic and social justice for our members. Midnight on the evening of September 14th is a deadline. UAW family, that deadline is nearly here. Tonight, for the first time in our history, we will strike all three of the big three at once. This strategy will keep the companies guessing. It will give our national negotiators maximum leverage and flexibility in bargaining. And if we need to go all out, we will. I didn't think this was going to happen. I'm really happy that everybody stood together and it was a unanimous kind of thing to strike. Let's be clear. No one wants a strike. Say it again. No one wants a strike. But I respect workers' right to use their options under the collective bargaining system. And I understand the workers' frustration. Over generations, auto workers sacrificed so much to keep the industry alive and strong, especially through the economic crisis and the pandemic. Workers deserve a fair share of the benefits they help create for an enterprise. It's my hope that the parties can return to the negotiation table to forge a win-win agreement. To continue our active engagement, I'm, dis I'm, I'm dispatching two members of my team to Detroit. Acting Labor Secretary Julie Hsu and White House Senior Advisor Gene Sperling, both of them been involved up to now, to offer their full support for the parties in reaching a contract. The bottom line is that auto workers help create America's middle class. They deserve a contract that sustains them in the middle class. <laughs>